Hey there folks, Noel Christopher here. So the 4th of July, halfway through the year, I really kind of looked at it like it was New Year's Eve. Didn't party like it was New Year's Eve, but I really looked at it as far as personal business and what I'm trying to do is, is uh, just the beginning of a new year. It's been a crazy first half of the year. A lot of things happening. I've talked about this before. I lost a lot of my business, but I'm getting it back, which is the important part. But I really was spent the, kind of the first half of the year, even pre-COVID, a little bit disenchanted and unsatisfied, not sure really where I wanted to go with my career, what I wanted to do. And I decided to really put my head down and work. But then when I really started looking at it, it really wasn't about just putting your head down and working. It's about a lot more than that. And it's about finding some meaning in what you do and really being passionate about it. And lo and behold, today, this morning, as I was looking through my LinkedIn, Jake Dunlap was doing a LinkedIn Live with a author named Marco Greenberg. And he wrote a book called Primitive. This really struck a chord with me, this book and what he was talking about. And I realized it was some of the things I was doing. And he talks about really finding a little bit more passion about what you do and, and, and finding your primitive self. And he calls it roaming, it's an acronym. It's not just for free spirits. It applies to anybody who feels stuck or unsatisfied or underappreciated and just don't know which professional direction they should take. And this applies to everything I'm doing and trying to build these home builder relationships and help these funds find more product for them to supply single family rental housing. But roaming, think about this. I'm gonna post this in the post. I'll post a link in the in the comments. But really what roaming stands for, it stands for being relentless and relentless in pursuing your biggest goals rather than just working hard. And that's the difference. Like just working hard isn't what you need. You need to do something more than that and really pursue your goals. It's not, I must make a million dollars this year. It's I'm going to work hard to make a million dollars this year. And the byproduct of that is if I don't do it, I'm okay with it, but I'm going to still be successful. And it's oppositional. And that meaning having the courage to challenge the status quo. If you're not satisfied in what you're doing, do something different or maybe explore within your own organization and your own company that there's different things and different directions in your career you could take. Uh, the other is agnostic and it's being agnostic as opposed to specializing in just one area. You know, I specialize in single family rentals, but I've been in renter's warehouse. I've done all kinds of things. I started out doing property management acquisitions. I was working with our referral program, got back into basically chasing deals and, and on the brokerage side against what I had told myself I would do a long time ago, but I had enough people tell me I was good at it. I need to leverage that, my contacts and my experience. And I decided to figure out a way to make it work for me rather than just pushing back against it. Messianic, meaning in spirit and spirit, practice, make your work your true calling. And I think that's so important for everyone. Like really believe in it, be that evangelist for your company, for what you do, for your industry. And I think you could be successful. And another one is uh, I for insecure. It's accepting and even acknowledging and weaponizing your anxiety and using it to drive your progress. This is an interesting one. This is a hard one for people to relate to. You take everything. It's the same thing with my daughter today. I was going to her first day of a camp and she was super, uh, had a lot of anxiety. And I was talking her through about how to use that for your benefit. Be aware to be hypersensitive to your environment and to use that to your advantage. The other one is nuts. The ability is to assess data and look at empirical data, but don't let the data drive everything that you do. Maybe do some things that other people think was totally crazy, that's totally out there that can't be done and base it on that data, but don't let data just drive you. You've got to go for your gut feeling. And if you talk to a lot of entrepreneurs, that gut feeling is what they do. And the last one of roaming is Gallant. Follow a noble path in life and work to help others. And you can do that through work. You can do that personally. You can do that in a lot of different ways. So I just want to throw that out there. Not all my posts are just about single family rentals, although that's my singular focus right now. But there's so much more to life than that. And you can make what you do in your work part of your mission. If you do that, you are going to look back on your life and feel like you've done something great. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like these types of uh, posts and videos or if you want me to just stick to doing the SFR stuff. Appreciate your time. Talk to you later.